Welcome to my workbench. In today's video, we're going to make a fixture using this piece of Mic 6. So this is a piece of Mic 6. This is what we're going to make this fixture out of. This is uh, 6 inches by 12 and it's 3 quarters inch thick. This is cast aluminum and this has been precision ground. You can see it's been double disked. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm just going to chamfer the edges here. It has been precision ground, it is flat and parallel. And just very briefly I'm going to use this bastard file to break the edge uh, to put a chamfer on there. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put this inside the mini mill and we're going to locate this on the table using a dowel indicator. We're going to get this piece of aluminum uh, perfectly 90 degrees of the and we're going to use a dial indicator and we're going to dial indicate the back of this piece of aluminum we want to get this clamp down where it's perfectly perpendicular to the spindle that we want this back edge of this aluminum fixture to be 90 degrees to the spindle and to do that I'm going to use a dial indicator what we want to make with this fixture is we want to make a way to very rapidly and quickly and repeatedly locate this piece of aluminum in our work coordinates uh, inside our mill. Uh, this is my computer that I use for Fusion 360. It's right next to the Haas so that I can very quickly uh, post some G-code and then stick it in the USB into the Haas. I'm going to use a software called Screencast. It's my first time using it. I've never used it before. Uh, but as I understand it, it re records what you're doing inside Fusion 360. I'd like to give a shout out to Eric Luther for telling me about it. Thank you, Eric. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to attempt to show you guys my first Fusion 360 video. We're going to cover the cam. We're going to make this uh, aluminum fixture. And it's going to be a very simple part. And as I understand this software, um, it posts a URL to the internet where other people can watch it. I'm going to include that link in the description below. But just know that on that link, the audio will be not as good. And I apologize for the audio. I don't have a lav mic. Um, so anyways, let's get on with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch. Fusion's asking us where do we want it. We want it on this bottom plane. And we're going to put it in a rectangle. This is going to be our aluminum fixture. Our aluminum fixture is 12 inches by 6. And then we're going to stop sketch. We're going to extrude this. So we're going to go create, extrude. The blue over here is asking us, what do you want? We want to select this profile. should say now, once selected. And we're going to pull this up 0 0.75. That's what our aluminum uh, mic 6 actually is. So when we finish extruding, you'll notice over here in our bodies, uh, we started with a sketch. It was sketch 1. When we extruded that, it became a body. So we're going to name this body aluminum. Body 1 is the aluminum fixture. Now we're going to draw a new, uh, a new sketch, create sketch, <clears throat> we're going to draw on the top of this fixture. And so what I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw some points in here. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the center. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it, get on this line. I'm going to tell it, find the midpoint of that. And there you go. And we're going to draw a line from the center of this across the fixture, 12 inches, push tab, 180 degrees, push tab. That's what we want. We're going to make that line become a normal construction line. So we're going to select it, right click, um, normal construction. So this is our center line. Now we're going to put in some more points here. We're going to go sketch point. We're going to come up and see how the X appears it means it's on that line I'm dimension this point I want it to be half inch and we're going to draw another line from here to the opposite side we're just going to tab in to 180 degrees tab 12 inches 
We're going to make that line again a normal construction. So select it, turn it blue, right click, and normal construction. Now we're going to put points on this line. So we're going to just put some points in here. Looking for the triangle, it means it's center. And so long as the crosshair, see how it's a crosshair? So as long as the crosshair becomes blue X, I know it's on that line. I'm not sure if I got this first one on there, so I'm actually going to come in here and force it to be on that line. D for dimension, we want to dimension our points. I want again half an inch. And this one over here, also I want it to be half an inch. Now we're going to push C for center diameter circle. We're going to put in some circles. Again, see, you can see the blue box. That means it's on that point. And as I pull it out, the dimension grows and shrinks. I'm just going to go ahead and tell it that I want a quarter inch. And here, C for center circle, point two five zero. Oh, enter. And now we're going to do sketch, pull down to mirror. Uh, what do I want to mirror? It's asking me over here in the blue. You can see it says one selected. I'm going to select all three circles, and I'm going to select as the mirror line, the center line. Tell it OK. Now again, we're going to go stop sketch, and we're going to extrude these holes. So we're going to go create, extrude, and hold down the left mouse button, keep holding it. It'll let you select um, what you're looking for. So I'm going to get all six of these holes. This is going to be our attachment holes. I'm going to use a quarter by 20 bolt to attach this hole. So I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole through the aluminum fixture um, for this. And for some reason, I don't know why, it always hides the sketch when you finish extruding. So if you want to see the sketch again, you have to go back in there, turn it back on. So I'm going to edit this sketch. And what we're going to do now is we're going to again draw centers, circles I mean, center, so push C for center diameter circle, and these will be 375. <clears throat> this is going to be for the socket head of the screw, I'm going to use a quarter inch socket head to attach this down. Again, sketch, pull down to mirror. It's asking you, what do you want to mirror? We want to grab this 375 circles. Probably be better to go 376, so you know that you're, you're above the major, and tell it OK. Stop sketch. And we're going to grab this hole for the socket head, and we're going to create an extrude. There we go. Let's get them all six. And we'll take these down 300 thou. Hide sketches. So there you go. There's your attachment holes. So now let's find a way to very quickly align this on the fixture. Let's come back in to the sketch, edit sketch, and we'll put in some more points. And I'm going to force it on that lines. I'm not sure if I got the blue X. Yep, it's on there. I'm going to dimension this to be a quarter of an inch. I'm sorry. This is going to be 159 thou. This is going to be a stop pin. C for center. And we want that to be a quarter inch set in. There you go. Again, come over to this other side. We're going to put in a point. We're going to C for center. This will be a point to 159. We're going to ream this. This will become a stop pin. And this is going to help us more quickly locate this on our fixture, on the base plate, I mean.
again turn on the light bulb but I don't know why when you hit stop sketch it hide your sketches but it always does again we're going to do a extrude and we're going to extrude the stop pins alrighty so there you go hide the sketches there's your aluminum base plate I'll go ahead and show you how I do the cam we'll move over to the cam first thing you gotta do is change this to inches so we're dealing with inches not millimeters the next thing is new setup Fusion's gonna ask us you know how's this oriented on the table of the mini mill that's what we're gonna tell it when we're when you establish your work coordinates you're telling it how the it's oriented uh, on the table so you see I chose the Z. The next thing is the X. See how the blue box is next to the X. It's asking you. It's Fusion's way of asking you. What's the X? Now you can come down here and say this is your X. And put this in lengthways to your table. Uh, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to X that out. I'm actually going to put this crossways with the table. So select that. The next thing you need to change is the origin. I like to use this back left corner for my G54. It's typically what I use. Since there's no other models in here it already knows what the model is so everything under the setup tab is now complete we've told it what is the Z what is the X if you needed to change the Z just push the button and it could flip it same with the X you could flip this X now X positive is going out to the right um, the next thing is the stock it's not a relative size it's a fixed size piece of aluminum it's 12 by 6 by 0.75 So there you go. Now under this setup, we're going to activate it and we're going to drill some holes. So we're going to go get a uh, drill bit. This is going to be um, under the local. Locals your what's on your floor. I'm sorry, in your toolbox. We're going to get a quarter inch drill bit. And we're going to choose these holes. Just like that. Select them all. The heights, we want to raise this up, say two, three inches, so we're leapfrogging over the toe clamps that's holding this piece of aluminum onto the table. And then we'll just drill that out. <clears throat> After we drill it, we want to do a pocketing for the socket head screw. So to do that, I'm just going to grab a flat end mill, uh, 188, 3 16th inch end mill. Again, we want to change the feed and speed. I'm going to run this for aluminum. I'm going to have a video. I'll put the link in soon for how to do the feeds and speeds. And here I'm just, as I select geometries over here in the blue, it's telling me what I've selected. It's very important that we make sure that the arrow is on the correct side. I'll give you an example here. If you look down on this and you zoom in, you can see the arrow is on the inside as opposed to if you click that arrow and it's on the outside. If it's on the outside you're going to have big problems. Make sure all your arrows is on the inside. And let's go ahead and tell that we drilled out some of these holes so that'll speed up the machine. And this one down here. And one other thing <clears throat> I'm going to tell it from the stock top come down 300 thou. There you go. So now if we simulate this, it's going to come in and it's going to leapfrog over the toe clamps holding this piece of aluminum to the um, the table with the T-slots. And then we're going to come in, we're going to machine out these, drill these holes for the quarter by 20 pass through and then machine out these pockets. After that, we'll put our bolts in, bolt this thing down, and then um, take the toe clamps off, and you now have a blank pallet. One thing I forgot to do is have the pockets leapfrog, so we're going to edit this. Come in here, and on the retract height, let's just add two inches to this. Uh, that way, <clears throat> something I forgot to do earlier is it'll leapfrog as it over the toe clamps as it machines out these pockets. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip this thing over. So we're just gonna grab it here and flip it over. So here's our fixture. These holes here 
I are drilled and rim, reamed precision holes. That's where the stop pins will help um, locate this on the base plate and takes eliminates any clocking. You still want to dowel indicate in this face. I'm going to attach this to the fixture using a quarter by 20 um, socket head. You can see here when installed uh, to the base plate, the socket head will be below the surface. So there you go, it's like a blank canvas for the artist. It's, uh, it's absolutely perfect. Ready for the artwork, ready to be machined. Uh, so I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, please like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.